The market for solid state drives, non-volatile memory, server-based flash cards, and all flash arrays is growing tremendously. In fact, IDC expects that the all flash market will be an $800 million market in 2014 and nearly a $1.6 billion market by 2016. With the cost per gigabyte for flash going down, businesses everywhere are eager to adopt flash in the compute and storage layer for performance intensive workloads. Flash, when used in the right manner, also provides an economically sustainable approach for data center build-outs. The fact that in many cases flash-based platforms can provide many times the performance of standard hard drive-based platforms means that the burden of delivering this performance now shifts to the networks that connect the compute and storage tiers together. Networks now have to deliver flash-enabled storage access to servers in a scalable, consistent, and latency-free manner. Many businesses assume that their existing network infrastructure will generally meet the demands placed by flash-enabled data access. However, the reality is that performance demands of flash are a step function higher than before. Legacy networks or lower performance networks simply do not provide the scale and agility needed when flash is introduced at the storage or compute layer. In spite of the advent of Ethernet-based networks in recent years, many vendors still rely on fiber channel as the network of choice when it comes to all flash arrays or flash-enabled high-performance storage access. The 16 GB link speed provided by fiber channel networks matches well with the requirements to support this growing wave of high-performance storage architectures. Backward compatibility with existing fiber channel networks means seamless upgrades. Deterministic performance means data is available when required for high-performance applications. And lastly, fiber channel also easily scales for environments where data growth is unpredictable.